Hello everyone, this is Lynn with Psychic Focus at PsychicFocus.blogspot.com and today I have an interesting one for you and I titled it The Ancient Underwater Fortress. My question is as follows. It says, Hello Lynn, I wonder what this is and there's a YouTube link. It's kind of a lengthy video. Interesting, you may want to watch it, but the synopsis is, is this thing that they found in the Baltic region. They can't tell if it's um, a land, if it's a fortress, if it's a sunken ship of some kind. So anyway, they wanted me to look at this and see what my take was on this area and this thing that they found in the water. And so when I tuned in, I did get it that it was an ancient fortress. It was it was like an island very similar to Atlantis and it looked like a place where ETs used to frequent and it served as a it was like a base and the cool thing was is it looks as though there's a portal above this area and ships or crafts would come and go through the portal and they used this base or this space like a uh, inner universal pit stop so they would come in and leave I didn't actually see that anything lived there and stayed there it was more as if they would come in and that was their welcome area um, so that was kinda cool I've never actually seen anything like that in a reading before I get that what happened was there was this enormous tsunami that came in basically wiped it away and that's why it's deep within the ocean now uh, so that's what looks like it happened to it and I get if you were to go there even now and you tested the area now uh, some of the electronics might not work right some instruments may not work right and you would see these odd fluctuations in the magnetosphere uh, and it, it's all related to the portal being there, there was this base there, there's just a lot of unexplained energy shifts in that area. And I got that it did look to be probably thousands of years old. Um, it, it just had that vibe to it. I couldn't get an exact date on it. I just, I heard the word thousands of years old when I was asking myself questions about uh, what is this place? What is it for? How old is it? Who who built it? Um, so I will get to the building part next. I got that it was actually built by the Lyrians. And I got that the symbols on the fortress, because if you look at it, if you watch the video, I mean, I put one up on the video that I made, but if you look, and also the blog, but if you looked at the, the pretty lengthy video, you'll see there's different designs, different intricacies of this, this fortress or this base. And so I, I wanted to understand what that was all about because I'm of the belief people did stuff for a purpose. It could have been decorative, but it felt more intentional, like it needed to be there. And so what I got was these were symbols that, that spelled out maybe how you were to act on earth like the, there was some requirement of it being a neutral place because different beings different ships were coming and going so there had to be some sense of peace and sharing and I heard also and so anyway that's what those symbols were representing they were representing what the rules were and how people were to behave and treat each other and then I also heard that as beings came and went to and from Earth and they used this pit stop, this welcome station as they came in, that it was actually named after the Lyrians that built it and it sounded something like Lyros. I couldn't quite understand it. And one thing that you have to keep in mind when you are communicating with an ET or something that's not even of this earth or you're just talking to your higher self to try to get clarity the sounds that are made and the noises that they can make with their um, tools that they have are very different than what 
we can do with our 3D bodies. So we do the best we can to hear it and understand it or even try to replicate it. So it doesn't always sound exactly the same, but it felt something like Leros. And that was all I got, but it was really cool. I've never seen a pit stop uh, for traveling ETs coming and going from Earth. So that was a very unique uh, vision that I got. So anyway, I want to thank you for listening. Please feel free to leave a comment. Um, if you like me, uh, like it. If you want to share, if you want to subscribe, all those things help me out a lot. So I'm very appreciative of that. And again, this is Lynn with Psychic Focus at psychicfocus.blogspot.com. Thank you. Bye.